Report. Now, CTE has some football players running scared this past year. Three NFL players swore off the game because they said they were afraid they would ultimately end up in a morgue. Another sad story that ended in a blitz of violence, like Junior Seo or Dave Dewerson, both of whom committed suicide while in the throes of CTE. So little is known about CTE, and there's no way to determine while the players are still alive if they have it. But a study hoping to change that lost one of its biggest backers just this week. Guess who? That's right, the NFL. ESPN's Outside the Lines reported yesterday that the NFL vetoed giving money that had been previously set aside for the study. I want to talk about this with USA Today sports columnist Christine Brennan. Christine, we should say this CTE study, CTE study is going to get funded anyway. The National Institutes of Health is going to pay for it. But why would the NFL back out? Uh, it's it's mind-boggling. I mean, embrace it, right? You're the NFL. As the movie says, Jake, you, you own a day of the week. You can handle the pressure. You can handle the criticism. They're angry because one of their chief critics at Boston University, Dr. Robert Stern, who has been controversial with some comments against the NFL, the concussion settlement, what have you, they're angry that he's leading this research. But for my purposes at this point, as you look at this, and this week of all weeks with the concussion movie coming out, let it go. Let the survey go. Let the research go. If it's your chief critic, then take those answers and be better off for it. Yeah, what better way to have credibility for the report. Now, CBS 60 Minutes aired a report last month on the NFL. I want to play something that Commissioner Roger Goodell told CBS's Steve Croft. Are you concerned about what they may find? Do you worry no, that, we don't, that you're sowing the seeds of your own uh, uh, destruction? No, we want facts. We think the facts will help us develop better solutions. And that's why we're advancing medical research. We want the facts, Goodell says, and then they pull support for the study. Yeah, and again, the PR nightmare of this, Jake, to me, is really the, the, the issue because the NFL is funding other uh, projects. They've sent that up to eight projects. Uh, Roger Goodell has kids who play sports. So many NFL officials have children who play sports, and they, they care about this. You talk to them individually, they care about these issues. So the overwhelming thought, kind of the, the, the feeling you get from this kind of news is that they don't care. And as a reporter covering the league all these years, I can say that they actually, they personally do say they care, but then when something like this comes out, it seems to me it sets them back and takes them to a place that they don't even want to go, which is even more stunning that they would pick this fight at this time. Now, you've seen this movie, Concussion. Yeah. Do you think it's going to hurt the NFL, or is it a wash? What's your take? I think it will be what you want it to be. In other words, if you don't like Roger Goodell, if you're angry with the NFL, if you think it's unsafe, then you will go home and you will tell your kids, don't play the game. You know, that's it. We're, we're not going to be involved with football. If you love football, uh, you'll probably watch it, and then you'll race home to watch the, the bowl games and all the, the com full complement of games on Sunday in the NFL. So I do think it will be what you want it to be. It is troubling, and it is eye-opening. And for those who haven't been paying attention to this story over the last 10, 12 years, Jake, I think they will learn a lot, and they will be troubled by it. What's your, what do you think parents will do? Uh, there's a great NPR series this week. Uh, David Green, uh, one of the hosts, talking to parents about the decision they make with their kids about whether or not to play football, whether or not they're allowed. Will this movie fuel those discussions? I think it will, absolutely, and I think it should. And, and again, I think the NFL should welcome that. Not because the NFL is going to go out of business anytime soon. Maybe, you know, will there be football in 50 years? I don't know. But there's certainly going to be football in 20 or 30 years. The kids, people are already in the feeder system. They will be for a while. It's the most popular sport in our country. But I do think it will fuel a conversation that the nation should have. Christine Brennan, always a pleasure to have you. Merry Christmas. Thank Thanks you, for Jim. being here. Thank